<laughs> so how can Louisiana suck anymore when it comes to the legal system? Unlike other states, <clears throat> when it comes to uh, having um, another judge look at your or hear your case, you would, if you were in city court, you could have your trial transferred to district court, keeping it within the same jurisdiction. But in Louisiana, they cross jurisdictions just to maintain a city judge on my trial when uh, Judge Ousley recused himself. You know what I should be doing as what my lawyer should be doing for, uh, because of that is challenging jurisdiction of that lawyer or of that uh, judge, Judge Barber. Challenge Judge Barber's jurisdiction because what Louisiana is doing is having a judge come outside of his jurisdiction of Shreveport's city within the city limits to hear a case outside of his jurisdiction. There's, there's different, he, I mean, he, they're, they're making this guy work with different, di, uh, different uh, clerks in a different office sitting on a different bench under different city rules. Okay, they are, they're saying that the state is after me, but if the state is after me, why do they keep it within city judge jurisdictions? Okay, they're they're, they, they've completely screwed up their jurisdictions. All right, maybe that's why it's considered a parish, because all parishes are within the same. So I should be get I should be tried in, in any city uh, for the the same offense or any any city judge can hear uh, my case of of the of the the uh, failure to ID charge but I mean for some reason these people get elected in particular jurisdictions yet they're they're allowed to to cross jurisdictions to hear cases all right that doesn't seem right to me okay they're they're crossing jurisdictions and and it's uh <clears throat> it's really really messed up on how that's working okay the 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 election jurisdictions are screwed up and and uh, why even bother with elections if you're just going to cross over the elected officials with with uh, particular elections and and let them just just run run uh, across jurisdictions to to hear uh, particular cases um, that have nothing to do with their jurisdiction, with with their uh, the lack of elections, and even this judge, he's not even elected uh, anymore. He's not running in his in his election cycle anymore. It's it's like, what's going on with that? So, <clears throat> it's it's really it's really screwed up um, how they're how they're doing it. And I mean, it, it makes you uh, question the the political value of of an election over there. Maybe that's why they're running so rampant with 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 uh, with corruption is because they they have Certain, 
certain jurisdictions that mean nothing. A jurisdiction <clears throat> means nothing to the to the system. It means it like it uh, uh, election jurisdiction means something for elections, but then after that, it means nothing because they just cross jurisdictions. Nobody does. Nobody challenge the jurisdiction because what ideally should happen for my case is that I I should be seeing a district judge, okay? I should be in, I should be working with, pe with, with judges within the jurisdiction who know the jurisdiction, who have, who have responsibilities for that jurisdiction of Natchitoches, regardless if it's a state charge or not, so that they keep some, some kind of of a, uh, of a, uh, uh, like consistency with that. So it really seems appropriate to challenge jurisdiction of the judge coming in from another jurisdiction to hear the Natchitoches case. It, uh, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, politically, um, systematically, efficiency wise, it just doesn't make any sense why, why this is working this way.